Hello everybody, this is one of my uh, videos where I just show you something that I'm working on in very very early stages. Um, this is uh, my attempt to do some sort of coaxial blaster. Um, I've been wanting to do one for quite a while now, a few months, um, but the release of the uh, X-Shot long shot recently has kind of pushed me over the edge of oh, this is a viable concept, I should probably go and do it instead of just thinking about doing it. So now I'm going and doing it. Um, going over what I have so far, uh, I'm just right now uh, prototyping the plunger and catch system before I build any type of blaster around it. But the end goal for this is to have a bolt action. Um, with a traditional stock, which is why this is here. Uh, this will not be the stock for it. This is just the stock from my uh, flintlock musket project. I'm just using it as a placeholder to see sizing and stuff. Um, but the idea will be uh, a traditional style bolt action, like a Lee Enfield or a Mauser or something like that, uh, with the bolt uh, action being like right here. You pull it back, push it forwards. Um, the priming for this is there is going to be from the bolt back here, which is also the ram. Uh, there will be a connecting bar along the top over to this bit over here. Oh, oh no. Over to this bit over here, this orange thing. Uh, this has ball bearings inside of it because since I've been working on Alchemist, I just like putting ball bearings and everything now. Uh, so there's ball bearings in that. And then that will compress uh, the spring and then catch onto the plunger uh, like a lynx. So it will be a uh, floating plunger. This will come back, grab it, pull it forwards, and then there will be a trigger linkage that releases the catch up here, and then the plunger will shoot backwards. Then the turnaround, which is the screen bit, uh, will force the air around and down the barrel. Now, in case you're not familiar with what a coaxial uh, blaster setup is, um, the barrel goes through the plunger head. And then that allows you to have a very funky uh, airflow path for the turnaround. It's not necessarily better than a normal turnaround, but it's cool, and I like cool things. Um, and it also allows for, in this particular case, a very uh, circular-looking uh, profile to the front end. So in a normal turnaround setup, it would have to be something like that. And that doesn't look quite as nice as that uh, with a shell over it, obviously. Um, but I think that the coaxial system will make this look good, make it look a lot better. Um, you may remember a previous project that I've shown called Lyra. Um, one second, uh, Lyra. This one. Uh, so this was my previous attempt at this sort of system. Oh, is this the right file? Uh, this is a good enough file. Um, I'm actually looking for this one, I think. One moment. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. So, Lyra was my attempt to do the same sort of concept, but basing it off of the slab. Um, and then, as you can see, this bit up here would be connected to the ram, so that would pull that back uh, to prime. And then on this, it was slab-based, so it had the uh, plungery bits underneath it, like that. It has the slab plunger, slab catch, slab uh, slab style. Um, trigger linkage, uh, but I kind of lost interest in this setup. There were just too many drawbacks, um, so I'm hoping that with this, uh, it'll be better. Um, I On this, I'm also going to have a new stock. Uh, it's not going to be this flintlock stock. It's also not going to be a slab stock. It's going to be a new stock. It uh, should be fun to experiment with some shapes. And I'm not going to go for the fully realistic, uh, period-correct 
bolt action looks like I'm trying to do with this flintlock uh, blaster here that I have the stock from. Um, it's going to be sort of my my own looks. You know, I some most of my blasters have that sort of look to them. Uh, the slab has that look to it. The silly pistol, fox bat, thumper. You know, all, all the stuff has has a certain look to it, and it's going to be in that look because that's that's just what I know how to do. Um, the coaxial system on this is the main thing that I'm focusing on before I do any of that bolt action stuff though, because once I have a good system up here, then it will be easy to drop into the rest of the blaster. Um, I've been talking with Dan from Orion Blasters uh, because he did the only uh, successful coaxial blaster other than the X-Shot Blaster uh, recently. Um, he, Orion Blasters did the Taurus, uh, which was the precursor to the Lynx. Um, it used a much wider plunger tube, and it was kind of janky, uh, pretty hard to assemble, pretty hard to source hardware for, as far as I understand it. Um, and that's why you moved to the Lynx instead of a uh, uh, coaxial system. Um, but I've been talking with him. Uh, he sent me the files for the Taurus, so I'm going to see if I can salvage some working components from that, or just take inspiration. Um, I've also been talking with Roboman. Uh, he did a, a coaxial prototype, or a coaxial design that never got it to prototyping. Uh, he did one that was similar to the Taurus around the same time as the Taurus, but as far as I understand it, not directly connected. Um, and Captain Slug also did a, a concept for a coaxial blaster. Not sure if that ever got to prototyping stages, but I'm also talking to him about it. Um, I haven't been able to get my hands on an X-Shot long shot yet, but someone uh, in my uh, friend group has taken some pictures of the insides, so I can kind of get a, a gist for what is working for them uh, now that didn't work for the Taurus. Because um, the Taurus is the only community blaster that I know of that's coaxial and had any sort of success, uh, even if it was very limited. The X-Shot long shot is the first one that I know of that's fully, uh, you know, uh, had full success uh, in not being crap, on, uh, honestly. Um, so my setup is... I'm trying to use as many of the hardware pieces that I already have uh, in my uh, other blasters. So like I'm using the same aluminum bars, same threaded rod, etc., etc. Um, on this, you can see that there's two 016 O-rings right there, which are on the inside of the plunger, and then those right against the barrel. And then I'm using 1.5 inch OD plunger tube, which is the same as the Calibern. Um, all of the other coaxial blasters uh, from uh, Captain Slug and from uh, Orion Blasters and from Roboman all use 2 inch OD plunger tube, which is about the same size that the Flak uses. Um, that's wider than this. Um, but I'm going to try and see if I can fit it inside of this size of plunger tube, both because it's thinner, so it'll look better in the shell, and also it's a neat design challenge, so why not? Um, the main thing that needs to be thought of with coaxial blasters is how you want to do the setup, because coaxial blasters are sort of a wild west right now. No one has really found out the best way to do it, as far as we know, so... Right now is the time to try new things. Um, I came up with the idea to sort of offset the barrel like this in the shell, and then have not aluminum bars, but uh, threaded rods with rod covers uh, right about here-ish. One here and one here. And then those would connect up to this orange thing. Um, that will probably work, but I don't think that's going to work as well as this. Um, this setup right here with an aluminum bar on each side of the plunger, uh, I think will be better in terms of durability. Um, and also, these aluminum bars are lighter than the 
two threaded rods with rod covers on them, so the plunger will be lighter as well. Um, my plan for these aluminum bars is sort of similar to how the Taurus did it. On the Taurus, uh, this is the Taurus plunger head right here, actually. Um, it had aluminum bars sticking off the end, so this is not the correct bar, but you know, just for demonstration purposes. It had it sort of like that, and then it had a notch in the aluminum bar itself. So, I don't know, something like that. Had a notch in the bar, and then a catch went into that notch on the bar, and then that's how the system worked. Uh, on my setup, uh, I'm trying to use bars I already have, and then I'm going to attempt to have the bar uh, not have any notches in it, and then connect the uh, ends of the bar with these holes um, with some sort of U-shaped thing. Um, if I can quickly sketch out the shape, it's going to be something like, uh, like that, and then that, and then that. Oh, oh, Fusion's trying to crash. Come on, Fusion. One. There we go. And like that. Like, yeah. There we go. Some sort of shape like that. Uh, with these closer to the barrel, actually. Like that, I guess. Um, I'm going to try and do something like this, then have these holes on the ends of the plunger rods connect up to that and then have the sear hold against that sort of like that um so the sear will prevent that from going backwards um do i have that right yes e yes yep I'm trying to think of this in my head while I'm doing it. Anyway, um, sorry. Uh, plunger has aluminum bars coming off of it. Then they will connect to a sort of shuttle on the end. Then that will connect to the sear, which will hold it in place. Uh, this sort of priming thing would, would be up here in this example. And it would be connected to the sear. So when this is in its position like that, this would sort of go forwards like that. The sear would catch, and then all of that, uh, all of that, would then go like that to the outwards position. Sear would drop, then the plunger would drop. Uh, yeah, something like that. So that's the idea. Uh, we'll see if it works in practice. Um, as I said, this is one of those videos that I make where it's very early in the in the design process. It's sort of in the earliest stages of figuring out the concept, um, but I don't know, I kind of felt like showing off what I have so far, and maybe if you have any interesting ideas, you can either go and make your own coaxial blaster, or you can feel free to share your ideas in the comments, and I don't know, maybe I'll use the ideas to make this more gooder. Yeah. Um, it's also worthwhile mentioning before I finish this video that I have an idea what I'm doing for the turnaround. Um, it's going to be different than how the Taurus did it. Um, the plan is to have O-rings sealing against the barrel, like on a Lynx, and then have a shape sort of uh, like a ported circular thing. Um, if I... I'll just roughly sketch out the shape and like that, and then that, Oop. and then this, like that.
pa 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 the shape is going to be similar to this and then those slots will be rounded but i'm not going to do that now um, the barrel will be in the middle then these slots will let air through um, and then i can put a uh, o-ring around this bit in the middle or around this outer bit to act as padding and then on the inside uh, the air is going to sort of go like this uh, kind of make a u turn there into the barrel um, and then the ram for this i'm going to make it cone shaped that's the current plan right now so it will have a pointy tip uh, it will push the dart in to the barrel and then the point will let air go past uh, that area so actually i can i can easily show that without making the video too much longer it would be something like that and then this edge would be sort of like that ish and then that would be pushed into the barrel slightly like that so you can see uh, the tip is like that and then the air would come out of this area and then go through this hole in between the cone and the barrel and then that would push the dart out uh, that should be pretty good and let air always get behind the dart as opposed to one of the issues on the links um, is that the ram being flat tipped uh, sometimes doesn't let air in behind the dart and we think that that's what might cause squibbing on the links but no one's really completely sure um, but I figure that this is a good opportunity to try it out and see if see if this fixes flubbing on this uh, before it's even an issue so yeah um, that's what's going on that's that's the idea for the coaxial blaster um, Probably won't see anything about this for another few months uh, as I'm slowly chipping away at it. Um, whenever I next have something noteworthy to share, I will post another video. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching and have a nice rest of your day. All right.